All right, this is Ben with SayAway Gaming. We're here with our first custom ban list winner, tournament winner. Uh, what's your name? Hi, I'm Kai. Coming and to you with uh, Zombies. All right, and how, how did your tournament experience go today? Um, intense. Very intense. All right. Uh, so let's get into the deck list. So to start with, obvious option, Solitaire. I just think a Lone Fire Blossom, right? Um, zombies. you're generally using this to pop out your other three of, you and a zombie. This is typically the combo you want to see to unleash the rest of the deck build. Um, uh, those are pretty self-explanatory. I mean, Solitaire, bring out a tuner zombie. You're only really going to go for Yuna zombie. Yuna zombie's effect, uh, you're mostly going to want to proc off that effect. Let's keep going. Yeah. Uh, Necroworld Banshee, just a quick effect either turn. Bring out your uh, zombie world. And um, and then my boss monster. This thing went crazy. Doom King Baldurach. Yes, he uh, he's the negate in this deck. Um, also banish also flukes. banishes. Um, he comes out each clip or, or each standby phase, right? Yes, each standby phase. If this guy's in the grave and you got zombie world or just a field spells on the field in general, he comes out on the standby phase of either player's turn. Pretty powerful. Um, blow up Bloom, he's there for the mill. Uh, you, you mill him off in the grave while you have Zombie World. He's uh, free banished to bring out Baldurach. Pretty simple. Um, moving on. And uh, self-explanatory, a couple Mizukis. They're just great to be in the grave. Especially Classic as a zombie. zombie card. <laughs> um, and on to uh, our hand traps. Two ash. Two ghost spell. Now, these are great because they go with the zombie theme. Now, in case people are wondering, uh, for our format, we did have hand traps at two. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, these are also great to get their effects while you have him on the field. Because they're zombies activating their effect, triggering my negate or banish effect. Yeah, that's some good synergy. And then to the rest of the hand traps, just generic stuff. The two, two Droll and Lockbird, because we're only at two. Two Nibiru. And due to our uh, underdog ban list, I'm running... One Maxi. How was the Maxi today? Um, I only seen him once, but he came in clutch. Yeah, sacked me, sacked me in the finals with it, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <We don't judge. laughs> you uh, hit a Drytron deck with this and get in the full hands. You said you only saw it the one time all day? Yeah. I mean, it's super balanced, I feel like. Um, I literally just summoned off a pass. And then... Another sort of hand trap, just attack booster, you know. Doesn't really do much. I didn't see it all day, but if I did, I'm sure it would have got me some great combos. On to the spells. The best card in the deck, Zombie World. Need it absolutely at three. So what makes this card so good, this format? Um, Because it turns all my opponent's creatures into zombies and when getting trying to activate those zombie effects while Baldurach is there I can just get my free negate or banish it's pretty great and uh, there's other combo if you got super poly you can fuse away their fuel so we do run three of that for that reason see you boys um, now, for some of the generic stuff, also due to the ban list, two Harpies Feather Duster. How are those um, today? At more than didn't one. Get, didn't get any use out of them. Uh, no one really ran back row, but they were there for 
just in case. I mainly sided them out. <laughs> uh, two reasoning, also due to the ban list. These are very great in this deck because milling any of my key zombies is getting me effects. Balderach, I'm getting an effect. Um, Necro Banshee and my Glow Bloom. Any of the any of these cards getting milled are just great in the grave, uh, especially if you got your uh, zombie world on the field. And two of the four are different levels too, which makes it nice. Yeah. Yeah, I need two levels of that. And two call buys. Very useful. Uh, lots of play. I feel like this card is a lot more balanced at two, and it should be also in the TCG's ban list because there is just so much hand traps going on. Just seeing this, you know, yeah, helps you kind of combat that kind of stuff. A lot of people only play like Imper and Nib and stuff like that, so like it doesn't even hit those hand traps, so it's like it could, it could easily be a three. Yeah. I don't even play it at one. So. I feel, yeah, I feel like this card uh, is kind of useless at one. It's definitely more of a two or, two or three of card. I'd rather see other stuff if it's one of. Um, Dark Roller No More to help break boards. Uh, if you're not going first, you want to see this. Uh, nothing much more to say about that. <laughs> um, this is laughable, but our ban list allows Pot of Greed. <laughs> I've only seen it once today. But it was just great to get it to be able to play this relic. So, you know, I agree. What does it do? Um, Foolish Burial. Again, mill capabilities. You want to see stuff in the grave. Uh, typically, I will throw away Necro Banshee for this. Um, our ban list only allows one Super Poly. It's a must of, though. So we run it. Take you know, take up the opponent's field if you have zombie world. And you know you can go into this guy, which fuse away two zombies. So if your opponent's got a loaded board with stuff you can't get over, fuse them away. Sure. <clears throat> Terraforming. Just another gimmick to get to my zombie world. Onto the traps. This is a must of three rivalry. Oh yeah, that got me game three because I, I didn't even have my twins. Seeing in. this with Zombie World, it's it's rare, but it's a good lock. Um, we have so many board wipes in our ban list. I'm surprised I didn't get wiped. <laughs> um, this can win games, possibly. <laughs> Um, I run one, uh, just cause it kind of messes with me, but if I don't get the greatest hand and I see this, I know a lot of people play spells, so we activate this and cut them off and slow down the game. Uh, I do side a second though, in case I want more consistency with it. And just for those back row players, we do the one red reboot. It has came in clutch twice today. So this is a very good card to run in any deck, I believe, because both TCG formats and our format, uh, so much trap capability. And this is great to see if you wanna get your combos off. All right. How many cards in the main deck? 46. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know, a lot of people said that. Onto the extra deck? Onto the Yes, I'll throw the extra. Um, so, we do one of these. It's just another Omni Negate, and it can attack directly. Uh, I only seen this once today. Uh, most of my gameplay today was mostly main deck, but this guy did get me a win. So, good stuff. Um, Vampire Sucker. Lots of play today um pretty much every game i played the vampire sucker just you know good free draw and i'm special and stuff from the grave so that's what's going to get me that free draw 
Um, and then much. it procs Balderock, right? Yeah, yeah, it can proc Balderock after getting the free draw. You know, you get a free draw and banish something. So, it's good. I only, uh, I recommend it at one, but it's, it's playable to be two. Um, but I run one. And another one of my big plays today, this guy. Um, so what this guy does when he attacks, I can mill any zombie to the grave. So we attack and mill whatever I need. Um, if I got zombie world, I'm getting rid of the globe bloom and specialing about a rock and hitting you with that too. So this guy's really good. <clears throat> Uh, the rest of my extra deck, I did not really see too much play of, but I got them there just in case. I'm just going to lay them out because didn't really see them anyway. Um, this, I wanted to get more use out of it, but it just wasn't necessary. Your matchups didn't need it? No, just wasn't necessary. Um, the Avermax IP combo, didn't see it at all. Um... And just more stuff because I have capabilities of synchroing. There is a lot of tuners in this deck. Uh, just for another Omni to gate, we threw in Boral Savage. Uh, again, I didn't see any of this stuff because my main deck was good enough. And for the Super Poly targets. Mud Dragon, Starving Venom, and don't really know this guy's name but the three dragons yeah. of the super poly <laughs> yep <laughs> so the three dragons for the super poly and uh that pretty much sums up my deck and how about your sideboard oh yeah we'll pull that out <clears throat> so we got the, uh, what do I want to start with? I think we can like pause so I can sort these out. <laughs> you just do it as you're going. Um, I'm in a strict no edit uh, video. <laughs> I mean, I'm kidding, I can cut it, but I just don't. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just show the stuff I got use out of, to yeah. be honest. Uh, the only stuff I used today I heard that one against Spiral. So exp explain how this worked. So most of the zombies are dark and you know, I bring out Necro, Necro World Banshee and get it rid of it with Mass Chains, Dark Law, get Necro World Banshee's effect, put my uh, field spell out there and continue my combos and this guy just shuts down most other decks you So know? what happened when you pulled this out like what deck were you playing against? What, um, how did they respond to it? I was playing against spiral and They pretty much just shook my hand nothing they could do Fair enough. Um, as does mostly everyone when they see this guy so Good little combo um, And the other anti-spell that I mentioned. Cool. One inspector border, only because our ban list allows one inspector border. Uh, I got some use out of him today. Uh, not as much as I wanted, but he did stall out some games for me to get some of my combos. Two ice dragon prisons. Uh, didn't see much use. And summon limit. Uh, also didn't see much use, but it could have came in handy because uh, the zombie deck only summons about two times. It can max bring out three summons. But you can usually just stall out your turns or... And once you get going, it's just you know. one Ballard Rock every turn. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that's pretty much all the useful stuff I had for uh, my side. So, uh, 
Hope you guys like the deck for us. Uh, and uh, so, how was your tournament report overall? Like, how'd you do in the tournament? What was your record? Um, I got five wins, one loss. Four, it was three uh, wins, top three wins, one loss, top, uh, and then got to top. The right? one win, uh, it, there was a technicality. We didn't really get to see what would have really happened to it, but you know, a loss is a loss. Um, but yeah, five wins is good. Yeah. Um, Would you win for the tournament? Tournament prize. Bro, this was this was what we came for. Battle of chaos and yeah, like ghost in our crystal. ghost rare crystal wing. Nice. <laughs> Very happy about it. So. All right. Any shout outs? Um. Uh, uh, not really. Uh, no one shout. Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. I'll shout out to uh, Stay Away Gaming. My buddy runs a great shop. Uh, um, we have a lot of fun here. If any of y'all are in the area, we're in Inglewood. Come and join us. We have a great house tourney game. So. Yeah, sounds good. Good job, bro. All right. For, us, for Stay Away Gaming, this has been Ben signing off.